welcome to showmethegarni.com. I'm Anuja. And I'm Hipbel. And today we're going to show you how to sprout beans. So we have a bowl of uh, um, whole moon beans here, the green variety. And um, if, if you see, they're uh, very compact, very small beans here. But um, we have soaked them overnight. Um, regular water, just... Uh, it, when you're trying to sprout anything, if you soak the beans overnight, it works the best. So you can see how they've actually you know, grown in size. And um, this is the soaked version overnight. And it's very, very simple to sprout beans. A lot of people are very hesitant to do this. Yes. But, uh, <laughs> and very healthy. <laughs> yeah, they're extremely healthy. Extremely, yes. You can, you know, you can eat them as uh, salads, you know, mm -hmm. raw. You don't even have to yeah. cook them. They taste wonderful. And uh, moong is not the only bean that you can sprout. There's many, many others right, that we'll show you. Yeah. Yes. And also, one more thing you mm -hmm. forgot to mention, you have to wash this first yes. and then soak it. Then then soak it. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, we have our soaked beans right here and we've drained out all the water. And um, what we have here is just a regular pot and we have um, a cheesecloth. Now you can use like a, a thin kitchen towel, it works perfectly fine, mm -hmm. but uh, using this, uh, it helps the sprouting process along faster. So we've washed this out a little bit and squeezed out a lot of the water, but if you can see, there's still a little bit of water in there. You want to keep it uh, that moist. Okay, so uh, we've spread out our cheesecloth over our pot and we're gonna go ahead and uh, put our soaked beans in here. Wow. Simple, right? Yeah. yeah. But you know, a lot of times sprouts actually scare people. If you see somebody do it, it's so easy. You wouldn't believe how easy it is. But uh, you know, just the fact that you have never done it mm -hmm. and you haven't seen anybody do it. Exactly. So hopefully this will take the fear out of it and you know, <laughs> it's you'll really be sprouting simple. so fast. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, we're going to take the ends of our cheesecloth and just kind of tie them together tightly like this. I'll place it back in our pot. And it's very important that uh, it have a cover. It doesn't have to be a tight-fitting cover, but you have to have a cover. Dark, basically. Dark. And then I like to keep mine in the oven simply because it's uh, undisturbed right. and you know there's no draft or anything in there. It needs to be a, a room temperature or warm uh, setting for them to actually sprout. And um, the whole uh, point of sprouting, we're fooling these beans to, to, into thinking that they're underground. You know, that's why the dark, the darkness. So in that case, that's why we actually transferred it from the glass to the uh, steel one, mm -hmm. so that there's no light going in. Right. And um, the sprouting process actually takes approximately two days. So um, the only thing you have to do in those two days is to kind of keep an eye on your cloth. You want to make sure that it remains moist. Right. And uh, if it looks like it's drying out, just take a little bit of water and just sprinkle it. Lightly sprinkle it on top, cover it, and keep it again. And in a matter of two days, you'll see sprouts growing. Wow. Yeah. And actually, you can sprout air, uh, most of the beans. Uh, here's some, uh, here, let me put it here. We've got, uh, this is uh, kidney beans. Mm -hmm. And this is the moong. Mm -hmm. yes. This is the kala chana, the, the garbanzo beans. The, there's a black variety. Mm -hmm. That's what this is. This is called moat. Uh, Mot dal, um, anything else it's called? Uh, matki, I matki, think some people yeah. refer to it as matki. Right, and then this is, uh, it's moat and? Uh, it's chori. Sorry, chori. Yeah, chori. Red chori. Red chori and adzuki beans, it's a, another type of bean. Basically, any bean can be sprouted, even if you have the lentils, even they sprout. So uh, you cannot sprout a dal, of course, which yes. has been split, and uh, anything which comes in a hole, you know, with two sides attached. <laughs> Soak it and you know, tie it up in a little cloth like this. Two days later, voila, you have beautifully sprouted beans. Right. So, very many things you yeah, can make with this. Uh, we're going to show you how to make a curry in one of our later right. segments. And uh, sometime later, some salads as well, yeah. because that's the best way to have them. <laughs> right. Very healthy. <laughs> so anyway, enjoy and uh, join us again in another episode of ShowMeTheCurry.com. Adding a pinch of spice to your life.